Hello everybody, my name is Jack Westendorf and I'm here with Thomas Halama. Today, we're showering on Red Devils. Take on the Peoria Notre Dame Irish. Thomas, how you doing today? I'm good, how are you, Wes? Uh, so what are you expecting for this today's game? Uh, it's going to be a really good game. The Irish is 2-0-1, so they've been playing really well, actually, mm -hmm. with one tie and two wins. Both those wins, they scored eight and uh, shut them out, the other teams out, too. Mm -hmm. So they've been really conquering the field. And then on the other hand, you, some people could say Shamrock's having a little bit of a rough start. Yeah, they but, definitely are. I mean, one loss, the first loss was to uh, SLU, uh, which was a 1-3 to three loss. Um, and then uh, Shamrock beat Hazelwood West 5 to nothing um, ju uh, just two weeks ago. And last week, Shamrock lost in a controversial offsides call 2-1 to one in overtime. Uh, looked at the replay, it looked like it might have been offsides to me. But Shauna looked poised to strike, to strike, and you know, try to get back up to even. Yeah, uh, they're having a rough start, but who can blame them? They've lost a lot of their strong players yeah. that just graduated last mm -hmm. year after a strong season last year. So we'll see. We'll see. There's still plenty of time mm -hmm. to make to make a change and turn around. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. So. Um, Shaman, um, we just learned today that uh, J senior Jack Rogers will be out with, uh, for a month with an apparent foot or ankle injury. Um, Stevie Nickenheim is back again after having some heart problems. Uh, glad he's okay. And making headlines, uh, freshman goalie yeah, Joe Mitchell will be impressive. starting today in his first uh, varsity game. He played um, when, played, uh, when the Shaman played Hazelwood, Hazelwood West. Yeah. Yes, he played for about. 10 to 15 minutes in there. So they been, had the 5-0 lead. Yes. But uh, 5-0 win. Yeah, 5-0 yeah. win. Yeah. So, so he didn't let anything in there. So hopefully we see the same thing mm -hmm. that he gave us at that game. So J.P. Winkler um, has one win and one loss. Uh, Jacob Dreyer, who started last week, has one loss on the season. And jo freshman Joe Mitchell is looking to start off with a win. Yeah. So we're going to get you your starting lineup. So starting in goal, f freshman Joe Mitchell. And we have Alex Kleeman, Max Kleeman, Brian Matteo, Ben Weber, AJ Anton, Anthony Agater, Mitch Mosby, Tim Steele, Drew Signorelli, and Ben Hassara to start off the game for the Red Devils. So teams are going on to the field. And we're going to get this game started. So when a team beats two, te so when Peoria, Peoria Notre Dame beats two teams in a row eight to nothing, I mean that's pretty impressive. That is very impressive. Um, Not a lot of teams can do that for sure. It was both Champaign Central and Centennial, correct? That they beat. Yes, sir. Champaign Central, uh, Champaign Centennial. Weird and names. You yes, know? very yes. So I don't I know mean, why they would name a soccer team <laughs> over Champaign. Awkward, uh, but so also they, they tied they tied normal uh, normal uh, high school over yeah in one one so this team is a very talented uh, head coach is Mike Bear um, so we're looking for I mean it's going to be a very high action packed game um, we have another game tomorrow at 11 a.m. theme is beach theme we're playing Marquette from Wisconsin um, so yeah it's going to yeah. be an exciting weekend for uh, Shamrock Sports yeah for uh Shamrock coach is taking a risk here putting in the freshman, but they probably just want to see what he's got and what yeah. he can do. Uh, we wish all the luck to him and yeah. hope he can make something happen here. So, a good amount of, uh, I mean, I mean, a very small amount of Red Devil, of the Red Army here. Uh, you know, just a lot of, just a good amount of parents, you know. After school, nobody really knew about this game. There, a lot of people that are supposed to be coming tomorrow against Marquette. So it looks like the Shamanas playing a 4-1-4 four, four formation. Thank you, Huama. I did not I did not recognize that. Thank you for that. Yeah, experience in the field <laughs> helps a little bit. So here we go. Here's Peoria Notre Dame to start with it. And that's gonna get headed away by Mitch Mosby going over to Max Kleeman. Max Kleeman gives it over to tries to give it over to Matteo. Matteo gives it back to Kleeman. Now it's Tim Steele trying to give it over. Uh, just a little too much to left. Ben Weber. Um, 
So, uh, as I stated last game, Chaminade has Ben Weber and Ryan Matteo back from their club team, from their acad for aca academy. Yep. And uh, we did lose Matteo Kidd to Mc academy this year. So, the Kleeman brothers working together here. Now it's Mac Alex Kleeman. Yeah, they're both very talented young gentlemen. Yeah. Two strong brothers, and then Steele gives it over to Weber. Weber, good little ship pass, trying to give it over to Anton. And that's going to get kicked out of bounds. Yeah, Weber had a great feed, but he, he just couldn't get to it in time. Here's Anton with the throw in. Goes into Weber. Weber tried to give it to Mosby. It's going to go out of bounds. Marty Dahlquist throws it in. It's gonna, I'm sorry, that's going to be number 12. Grady Schlees Peck is going to throw it in for Peoria Notre Dame. And it goes right into Ben Weber's feet. Oh, that's definitely a car right there. Uh, not going to be a car there. That's going to be, the foul's going to be on Carter Spires of Peoria Notre Dame. Yeah, that was a bad move. You can't hit him at the legs from behind for sure. So Shamra will have a free kick here. It looks like it's going to be Ben Weber. Two-man wall trying to block the shot. It's a nice shot. Yeah, because they're right around him. It was perfect, but one, one of their team members got got their head on it, so and, they get that out. Yeah, and the ref said something there. And oh, I don't know what happened, yeah, but they're re-kicking. I, re I didn't re catch that. So, three minutes gone. Here's another kick. That's going to go, it's going to sail over, and Mosby got the header. And Pure Notre Dame kicks it out. And it's going to be out of bounds. Throwing, yeah. Ooh. Throwing for Shamanad. Goes over for the canopy. Pretty hard to do right there. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be Alex Kleeman with the throw in for the Red Devils. Kleeman throws in a nice one. But it gets headed out of bounds by Spires. Yeah, Shamanad's just got, got to find a groove. Yeah. I mean, it's three minutes in, still mm -hmm. trying to get the academics yeah, out of their head. Long, long <laughs> yeah, Friday. Long, long Friday is right. And here's Matteo. Matteo gives it over to Max Kleeman. Max gives it over to Signorelli. Back to Weber. Weber can't get a handle on it. Here's that Marty Dahlquist. Out of bounds on Bosby. So Dahlquist, no. They keep, they keep changing uh, who's throwing in the ball. Yeah. And it's going to go out of bounds. It looks like whoever's there yeah, it looks, throws it in. Yeah, it's going to be Grady uh, Schleipsek. Sorry, I don't know how to say that name, but. Rowan gives it over to Dahlquist, and uh, that's, that's going to go out of bounds. Yeah. So it'll be a goal kick for Shamnath. Just couldn't get a foot on it. Yeah. Good pressure by Shamnath. Keep him moving. All right, so Tim Steele with the kick here. Joe Mitchell once again in goal, the freshman. Here's the boot, and that's a nice one. It's going to yeah. go into Ben Weber's chest. Now Matteo kicks it down over to Anton. Anton gives it to Weber. Oh, great pass there great by Agater. Great effort by Weber. This, this Shauna Red Devil team is just full of so much talent. Yes, for sure. Weber gives it over to Agater. Agater over to Anton. He has Anton a has it in the box. Shot. Oh, oh, just over. Just, just over. over. Great shot, though. And in goal for um, Anton and Weber were sick there. Yes. They were back to back. Guy. You've got to pinch in and take his place and help be the Freeman. And in goal for uh, Pure Notre Dame is J.R. D. Rose, the senior. So you're going to have to pinch him behind the center back if that happens. D. Rose with the kick. It's like Derrick Rose right over there. A couple headers. Head. And that's just going to go back and forth between Shamna and Peoria. Irish have the ball. Two strong Catholic high schools trying to, you Very know. Very talented yes. young man on both squads.
Now Matteo tries to take it away, and Max Kleeman loses it. And Irish trying to find something here. Shamna's pressuring him very well. And that's going to go down to the end line. And that was Trey Knighton tried to get the header for the hilltop for the Irish. But it goes out of bounds. Shaman not throwing. You and Grady need to read that. Now it's you, Grady. Yeah. So Shaman not throwing now. Just about six minutes gone in the first half. Still 0 0. Anton with it, making some good moves. Kicks it down. Just too far. Yeah. That's going to be D Rose. Picks it up. Tommy, you worry about that kid, and we'll straight out there. We'll straight out the rug. All right, so goalie trying to clear it, and Chamna gains possession. Weber gives it over to Mosby. Mosby gives it down to Captain Anthony Agater. Agater gives it over to Anton, and Anton gives it over to the far side with Asara. And Asara can't make the pass back to Agater. It's going to be pure in the day with it. Aiden Hill. Irish has a chance here. Pass Ooh, over to offside. Marty Dahlquist. Dahlquist was just offside there. Good call by the refs. He was, he was just taking too many steps. So team captain. Anthony Agner. Yeah, Steele and Agner are both the captains on the field today. Oh, and, and Ryan Matteo. Can't forget Matteo. So Tim Steele will take the free kick. It's a nice one. Going over right to Ben Wimper's feet. Now it goes over to Agater. Agater over to Matteo. Matteo gives down the sideline to Anton. Anton chips it over to Matteo. Matty with some good moves. Anton over to Weber. Now it's Alex Kleeman. Alex Kleeman down inside the box. Kind of had, trying to find something here. Had a little bit of an open lane there. Kind of yeah. went through everybody. Just uh, hesitated too much and yeah. couldn't get the shot off. Oh, oh good move by Agater. by Agater. And it's going to be Shamna throwing. Good call by the ref. Agater, he didn't give up on the play. Yeah. He kept going and uh, worked out for Shamna in the end. That's what we need from a senior captain. And Elvis oh. Sara couldn't get a foot on it. Good shot off. Shot. shot. Oh, it just oh, goes just wide. Off. That's Ryan Matteo's shot. Another great opportunity for Chaminade. Couldn't convert there. No, but hopefully eventually they can make something happen and get one in. This coach is a little... <laughs> Notre Dame, this coach is uh, not happy with the team. I'll worry about them. So the team leader with goals is senior Ryan Matteo. He has four goals on the season leading the team. Yeah, he's been playing very well this mm -hmm. season. There you go. He's had a goal in all three of the games so far. He had two uh, against Hazelwood West. Hopefully he can keep it up. Yeah. Here's Max Kleeman. Kleeman trying to find an open area. Kleems gives it over to Agater. Oh, uh, good slide tackle there yeah, by beautiful. Agater. It was perfect. He didn't go for the legs. He went for the ball, which is... If Not you at all, foul. God, you can't leave him. Now here's his brother, Alex Klingman, with the throw-in, right past midfield. Throws in, tries to give it over to Sara, and it goes right over his head. And Shamna with the throw-in again. And nice throw-in by Matteo. Now it's Max Klingman with it. Gives it over Sar Hasara shot. Saved oh, by the good shot. Saved by J.R. D. Rose. D. Rose. The Chicago Bull action. <laughs> See, I know a little bit about basketball. Oh really? Good for you. <laughs> Milwaukee Bucks fan. Just saying. Oh, Bucks? Yeah. You always you always uh, like true. the worst teams, you know. Yeah, they're right? not bad. They get the playoffs. Okay, uh, who's your favorite who, who's your favorite baseball team again? Indians. And Kleeman kicks that down over to midfield. 
last time I checked, they weren't doing so hot. Um, they were they were riding a six-game winning streak, just so you know. Ten percent right. chance to make the playoffs. Ten percent. Ooh. <laughs> right. Here's so, Irish moving the ball pretty yeah. well. Good, good slide tackle yeah. by uh, Kleeman. Max Kleeman. An Irish reach. Oh, there will be a foul on the play. That's going to be on Max Kleeman. He's definitely hurt. Max Kleeman showing some sportsmanship and yeah. helping them get up. Max Kleeman did not make varsity last year. He made JV. His brother Alex Kleeman did. That must be a weird conversation at home, you know what I'm Yeah, oh, yes. Now, <laughs> Tommy Driscoll with the uh, kick there. It's going to go out of bounds. And it'll be a throw for the Irish. It's Trey, and it's going to be Sam J Jockish uh, with the throw in. Jockish with it. Tries to center it. It's, and Dahlquist could not get a foot on it. Yep, and Mosby clears it out. Great clear. Here's Ben Weber. When Weber gives it over to, tries to give it over to Agater. Oh. And out of bounds on Agater. Yep, just goes off his leg. It's going to be a throw in for Peoria Notre Dame at midfield. Irish throw in goes over to Trey and Marty Dahlquist. And Clement gets a foot on it, deflects it, and uh, Shamnod regains possession. Now it's Anton. Anton over to Matty. You got to tell Chris what every time. Steven tight. Sam Stitz. That's going to go down. It's a foot race with, between the Irish and Chaminade. And Tim Steele tries, is going to clear it over to Ben Weber. Find your guy. Got four subs for Chaminade going down. Stay with your guy, Chris. Where is he? Chris, where's your guy? They're going to call offside on that. Him. Brady, where was your guy? Okay, that's who Chris thought his guy was. You need to talk. You and Chris, that's where I told you you're not talking. Because you you guys don't call So it'll be a free kick and the boy will take it. And that guy's wide open. Now here's D. Rose with the kick. And here's D. Rose with the kick. I like saying D. Rose, don't you? I like to say I do like saying that. <laughs> Yeah, so Pure and Notre Dame, both of their um, that for, uh, first string and second string goalies are both seniors. So some JV guys are going to need to come up strong next year. And here's Cesaro. Gives it over to Anton. Anton centers it. Oh, great center. Try to give it to Weber. Weber just got a foot and keep it in bounds. find somebody else. You're good there, Aiden. Add it over to center. Oh, Tommy, your man. just off the foot of Tommy. Max Kleeman. Tommy, stay with seven. Aiden will get that ball. You can't leave your guy. Out of bounds, Shamanov throwing. And here are the subs. We got Stevie Nicodem, Joe Cantlin, Kyle Thurman, and Mike Barlow coming in from Mosby. Weber. Kyle Thurman is actually the yeah. only sophomore on the team. Hasara and it's going to be Alex Clemens coming out for the Red Devils. Yeah, the Clemens has been a big part of the game so far. They've definitely been handling the ball and uh, doing pretty well. Matteo lost it there. It's going to be Irish. Irish is holding it. Now Stevie Nickadem just got in the game. Could not clear it. Shaw's going to be blocked there by, by Tim Steele. Connor. Connor. This is a big game. You've never played a big game, have you? You didn't come here to freak the play fresh south, did you? <laughs> and Tyler Hughes coming in for Chaminade. And Anthony Agater coming out. Hunter Highfill going in, and also going in is number two, Carl Resnick. What do you say? What do you say? He's got some crack coming down his leg. 
<laughs> that was on the air. Uh, and the, the uh, that was, oh, oh my gosh. Uh, so the corner kick gets kicked away by Chaminade. Here's Tim Steele with the kick. Yeah, Tim Steele is definitely the main guy for uh, goal kicks. Yeah, definitely. He's uh, he's he's amazing at that. And Anthony Agutter, of course, is our corner kick master. Oh yeah. <laughs> and here's Jordan Notre Dame. Oh. And that went off Marty Dahlquist's chest. It's gonna go yeah, out of bounds. Just couldn't get possession of it. It's gonna be control until it goes out. It's gonna be a Stevie Nicodem throw-in for the Red Devils deep in Chaminade territory. Throws it into Thurman. Good job by Thurman. Now Thurman gives it over to Matteo. Matteo gives it back over to Thurman. Thurman good, some good footwork there. Matteo with it. Now Signorelli. Signorelli gives it over to Kyle Thurman going down the sideline. Here. Open line. Good chance. Oh, good move by Thurman. Thurman centers it, and oh. that's going to be saved by D. Rose. Yeah, okay, great save. It was position perfect, but uh, the goalie got there in time. And Mike Barlow was trying to run into possibly get the header there, but ran into the goaltender instead. <laughs> yeah, unfortunate. <laughs> so, two. 23 minutes remaining here in the first half, all tied 0-0. That goes out of bounds. Shamana throwing. Now it's Nick and Nicking him over to Cantlin. Cantlin gives it over to Thurman. That's going to go just over his head. Hunter Highfield with the throw in. Great throw in by number two. Yeah, that was, yeah Hunter, he was the. Yes. Yeah, the uh, coach for uh, Peoria and Notre Dame was saying this is his first really big. Uh, High school soccer game is varsity. I mean, he, they destroyed both champagnes, 8 0. And here's going to be a corner kick for Peoria and Notre Dame. And the corner kick. Yeah, that was Tommy Driscoll with it. Is able to clear it. Here's Hughes. Hughes, a good hustle there by Anton. It's not in time. It's going to go out of bounds. Out of bounds. So it should be a goalie kick. And Tim Steele is going to take a kick for the Red Devils. Yeah, Big one, Tim Steele. I love that last name, Steele. I like that. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Pretty strong <laughs> last name, you know. Hughes tried to give it to Anton, and now Ant now it's gonna be pure Notre Dame with it. Went back and forth between Shamna and the Irish. Good job, good job. Sort it out. Aiden, find something in the middle of the park. Yeah, yeah. Watch it. Nick throw in. Gives it over to Anton. Matteo, Matteo gives it over to Anton. Anton going down the near sideline. Another opportunity here. Crosses it. Shot. Oh, looks like they might have gone under the foot of Barlow or Hughes. Yeah, it was a perfect setup. Yeah. Just couldn't execute it. Yeah, looks like it maybe trickled off the foot. Maybe, you know, couldn't get his, you know, you know what I mean? When the ball was shot, you jogged right you know by into the six. What? He was standing at the penalty. Person in motion stays in motion. Can stop. I mean, don't you mean object emotion stays in motion? I think it. Uh, That's Kersey and Mr. Shaw last year. <laughs> and Matteo gives it over to Barlow. Don't let him run by us. Tyler, Tyler Hughes got caught with his uh, feet and some cement there. Find your Tommy. Now it's Thurman. Find your no, no. Thurman, great fresh, great sophomore player. Yeah, loses it there. 
both teams Three, definitely eight, trying to get something going here. Yeah. But Shamnaz definitely had the ball a lot longer yeah. and has been on offense. Now Barlow just, all the time. Barlow just walking around with it. Now it's Thurman. Gives it back over to Matteo. Matteo tries to shift it down the sideline. It's going to be a foot race here. And Irish let the ball go out. And the subs for Pure Notre Dame are number 12, Grady Schleesk. Pats. And number 19, Max Von Vonachen. And number four, TJ Ray. And here's the goal kick by D. Rose. It's going to be a pass midfield. It's going to be headed down by Matteo. Now it's Thurman. Thurman is going to try to get over to himself. Now it's Hughes with it. I don't know if that was... Out of bounds on Irish. Yeah. And Klingman kicked it into the Irish's legs and... Uh, yeah, Klingman wasn't happy with himself there. And now uh, Agder is going to go in for Max Klingman. Oh, and bad throw. Flash on that. And uh, I want to give a personal shout out here. It's not really personal, but it's to David Capazza, uh, senior in the O'Donnell House. Uh, if you if you read my article on uh, Cardinal White, you saw all of his pictures down there. He's an amazing photographer from uh, Europe. Europe. I think I think he's from Latvia. Maybe it's that. I think it's Latvia. 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 Yeah. Or no, maybe maybe it's that's that's the country. May, yeah. I think I think he's Latvian. Yeah, he's an amazing guy. Uh, he has a bunch of amazing pictures. Father Ralph really just printed today, but you know he has a bunch of pictures in the uh, in the uh, cafeteria, and he printed one of uh, one of David's um, with the American flag and some guys behind it um, when we did the powder against CBC just last week. So shout out to David. And another free kick. Good job by Seal. Nice one. It's going to go over to Maddie. Oh, Maddie with a nice header. Gives over. Oh, Anton uh, was there, but got taken away by number 15, Carter Spries. Yeah, Shaman's definitely putting the pressure on the oh, Irish goalie. Yeah. So 17 minutes remaining in the first half of play here at Shaman, the Red Devils, and the Irish all tied up nil nil. D. Rose for the kick. You know, it's Barlow with it. Haven't said his name all today. Yeah, he actually just subbed in. Yeah. Didn't start. Tried to go for Kyle Thurman's going to go out of bounds. Looks like it's going to be a shaman out of Thurman. Yeah, I think it went off the Irish feet. And here's Tyler Hughes. Senior Tyler Hughes. And Thurman. Throws it in and it gets punched away by D. Rose. And it's going to. Yep, it looks like they're going to call a foul there on Chaminade. Yeah, great work by the Irish bully, D. Rose. And Max Kleeman going in for Chaminade. D. Rose has been getting a lot of action lately. Yeah. Cleeman in, Matteo out. And here's the kick. It's a nice and deep one, but good job there by Cleeman. Heads it out. And here's Tyler Hughes. Hughes tried to feed it over to Anton, but couldn't get it there. Opportunity here for Pure Notre Dame. Here's a shot and easy save by Joe Mitchell. That shot was by number four, TJ Ray. And that'll be the first action he's gotten today. Yeah, so first first uh, shot on shot on goal is a nice save for Mitchell. Red Devils won offside, they're not going to get it. 
And he's gonna fall down out of bounds. Shamanai ball. And now it's gonna be Alex Kleeman going in for the Red Devils. Joe Canlin coming out. And Aiden Hill going in for the Irish. And Tommy Driscoll coming out. Good job, Joe. As Anton gets it over to Kleeman. Kleeman over to Agater. It's going to go down. Now it's just pure and over Dane. Just have a ton of possession right here in the last minute. Yeah, they're moving the ball around very yeah. well. Shamanai can't get their hands on it. It gets kicked away there by Kleeman. Good job. Good defensive play. Now Thurman. Thurman looking for Anton. Doesn't get it to him. It's going to be 13 minutes remaining here. So Weber, Mosby, and Sara going in for Shamanad soon. And Dahlquist and Brunch going in for PND. Here's Steele with the kick. And now it's Anton. Anton with it. Has a chance here. Pushes him off the ball. Trying to find something. It's headed away by the Irish. Now, here's Signorelli with it. Signorelli running in. Another chance for Shamanad. Oh, tried to get over Thurman. Couldn't connect. And the Irish try to get it out. And they do. And Jack Layton just went down for Shamanai to the uh, sub area. And here's Irish a chance here for you. Oh, just off the foot, just off his feet. TJ Ray had a good opportunity there. And here come the subs. The Irish just had a really good push, another one. And Thurman. Nicodem, Hughes, and Barlow coming out for the Red Devils. Knighton and it looks like just Knighton coming out. And here it is, header goal for the Irish. Yeah, and that's it was a perfect corner. Yeah, that was. That's number two, Carl Resnick. And the Irish take a one to nothing lead with 11.30 remaining here on the first. Yeah, that was a perfect play. Well, that stinks. <laughs> this, this but Shaman just got to take it and just motivate it themselves with it. Now here's Anthony Agater. Over to Leighton, Leighton running down the field, trying to get something going here. Gets it over to Anton, tried to get it back over to Leighton, but just couldn't connect. Now Kleeman gives it over to Anton. Weber gives it over to Leighton, Leighton over to Max Kleeman, Max gives it over to Agater. Down to the far sideline to Hassara. Hassara. Oh, gives it over to Anton. Anton falls down. Going to be no fall there. You didn't tell anybody. Aiden, Aiden started to cover him because he didn't know you had him. You've got to yell. Up back, Tommy. Yeah, I thought that should have been Chamonix's ball. That was a bad tackle by the Irish on Anton's. Come on, 
Now Cleveland kicks it away. And it's going to go OB, throwing for uh, the Irish. What were you going to say, Thomas? I'm sorry. Oh, you were going to say something? No. Oh, I thought you were going to say something. Oh, sorry. And they, the Irish kick down. It's going to be a foot race here. Tim Steele with it. Oh. Yeah. Irish wanted a foul. They're not going to get one. That was a little dirty by Tim Steele, the captain, but they did not Gotta do what you foul. gotta do. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta be a little aggressive, but not too much, you know? Yeah, yeah I feel you. Mm. And it's Agater with it. Kicks it down. Ben Weber can't get there fast enough. Goal kick for the Irish. Substitute going in for the Irish. Less than nine minutes remaining in the first half. Notre Dame, Peoria Notre Dame leading. Both teams were playing a very good game. Just, just Irish could have. They were called foul there on, yeah, on uh, the Irish. And here's Tim Steele trying to get some going quickly. 8.30 left. Signorelli is right near the ball as well. Yeah, Sham not really needs a goal here, Wes. Yeah, definitely a game for a uh, half. Just tie it up. Kleeman gives it over to Kleeman. <laughs> and it's going to go out of bounds. So Sara almost had it. Throw in for PND. Good diving header there by uh, Signorelli to keep it in. Yeah, that was an excellent effort. Yeah. You don't see a lot of diving headers. Yeah, especially just to keep the ball on bounds. Yeah. Talking to back, you're lazy right now. And that's going to be Mitchell picks it up. kick by Shamnad. Agder has it. He's trying to find someone. Tommy, watch 10. Your ball watching. Chris, get inside him. Not too far away. And throwing. Clayman will take it. And again, out of bounds by the Irish. Now most people have throwing. Intense! Beat him the ball, Brady! Tommy, stay with your guy! And whoever gets slide tackle. Dirty slide tackle by number 12 on the edge. Yeah, that's a uh, Brady slide pass. So now we have a free kick pretty close to the goal here, right outside the box. Anything could happen now. Anthony Agner here. Yeah, full foot. Trying to block it's hard to hear. It's hard to talk yeah, about right. these coaches yelling. Uh, Six thirty left. Uh, four man wall. Agater to kick the kick. Who's free? Yo, who's free? No. It looks like there's a little bit of con con confusion on both sides here. Uh, now it's silence. Agater with the shot. Oh, it's gonna go just, just over on that. Uh, Michael tight on. There's, there's a great shot. Just yeah. a few inches down, and it would have been perfect. Yeah. Take one. And goal kick for D Rose. Hunter Highfield going down for the Irish. That's so hot. Let's play guess the guess how hot it is outside. It's pretty hot. I'm gonna, so get, I'm gonna guess 90 something. 93. Oh, oh good play there by uh, Dog Twist. Yes, uh, yeah, slide spec. Slide spec? Slide uh, it's, yeah, I'm sorry. If, if someone, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. And there's a column Grady S. And 
in high field, Hunter high field on the Irish will take the throw in. Headed there by Steele, they're going to call push off, push on the push off on uh, the Irish. And added very trying to get control of it, but he cannot. Uh, it will be out of bounds on Shaman. Yeah, 4.30 left in the first half of play here, both sides. And they got to get something going, Wes. Yeah. 1 0 lead for Notre Dame, pure Notre Dame. High ball. Out of bounds on Irish. Four minutes left. Number seven, Ted. And, and Maddio is going to come in for number 15, Jack Layton. So, um, big football game tonight against the Smet at seven at the Smet. Red Devils trying to uh, have a three. They're undefeated. Yes, they have a 2 0 record, trying to go for 3 0. And the theme is a whiteout game at seven at the Smet against the Smet. So if you can make it there, yeah, definitely. Everyone who's available to be there, go there. It's gonna be a big game. Big game. And here's Anton with it. He's got another shot. chance. Shot, but oh. saved by D Rose. Looks like he didn't get maybe yeah, came he off his foot wrong, something like that. Yeah, it came off the side of his foot and probably the back of it, so it just yeah. went on the ground. Good, good, good opportunity is, though. Yeah, it definitely was. If he could, if he hit it with his laces, he probably could have made that shot a lot better. <laughs> Signorelli gives it over, tries to, gives it over to Kleeman, Kleeman back to Matteo. Tres momentos remaining. That's three minutes in Spanish, Schwama. Uh, I do not understand you take Spanish. A lot, you take Latin, so. Yes, sir. And probably if you told me that in Latin, we wouldn't have any show with you. And here's Mosby, kicks it down. Trying to Go, find Adiger. Going down for Agater. Oh, no. Here's oh, Matteo, Matteo's shot. Oh, oh saved by just... DeRose. Great save. DeRose is really wow, showing what he's got. Wow, he's a great goalie. And then we're going to have a Shamana, a free kick, two thirds remaining. Ooh, my heart's being fast. I was definitely going to have to go through one man and one man only, and that's Steve Rose to, to make something happen. <laughs> and uh, Agater, the corner kick master, going to take the corner kick with 2.15 left. Hoping to get something going here. Yeah. Looks like Tim Steele's right down inside, the right by the goalie, and that's going to go just ahead of oh. Mosby got the header there. Great header, but uh, yeah, good header Irish, by Mitch. Irish gave it right back to Shamanai with another header. Good clear there by uh, no, Pure in the game. And Shamanai will have possession. Good job there, my Agador, to keep it in. Now he's going to have to run for it. Hunter, yep, another foot race. <laughs> yeah, keep, that, he was not going to make that. 140 Hunter. left. Don't just drop to drop. Another If you can beat him to a head ball, get a head ball on it. You're trading. Good decision. You're kind of watching, you're kind of helping. That's great. That's great. Go straight up, get a head on it, and then you got to drop. Put it to a corner, Aiden. Bless you. To either one of the three. Good, Tommy, good, now drop. Here's Agater with it. Agater gives it over to Max Kleeman. Oh. We're seven! Aiden, watch him! They are! They Less are. than a minute left. An easy snap for the average goal. Tommy, Tommy, as soon as the head ball is done, you find him. He will punt it. No, just oh, no? shut up and do what I say. <laughs> Uh, Shaman got 30 seconds to make something happen. Yep. Don't think it will, but you, just, you never know, you know? Notre Dame throw in. Go ahead, Tommy. Go ahead, Tommy. You're going to Brady. Or Brady, one of you two go. 25 seconds. And 
claim it heads it out of the box. Oh, it's going to be right to me. Hunter, just stand there. Hunter, Hunter, look at me. And three, two, one. That's going to be the end of the half, folks. It's been exciting for us. Yes, it has. Uh, one goal I mean, by the Irish yes. and zero for CCP. Yeah, so um, the goal for the Irish was by number two, Carl Resnick. Um, that happened. Header. Yes, Off header, yes. Uh, so we'll be back just with a couple minutes before the start of the second half. Um, as of right now, the Irish lead, one nothing. All right. Yeah. What do you want me to shoot during half? Uh, a big so starting roster did a very well oh, job on defense in the first well, half. Well, well. Couldn't get anything going it, on goal. They had a lot of shot opportunities. Right. Yeah, Couldn't put one in though. As well as the Irish defense has been a little weak, but their goalie has been playing absolutely wonderful, saving most of all shots put on goal. Well as their offense had that beautiful goal, didn't, uh, didn't have too many penetrations. All right, we'll be back. Hi everybody, I'm Julian Mitchell. We're at halftime here at the soccer game. Shout out taking on Peoria and Notre Dame. Score is one nothing in favor of Peoria. I'm here with Ryan Fogarty, the manager for the Chaminade soccer team. So, uh, Ryan, how do you think we're going to get back in this game? No, I think we just got to play some solid defense, uh, push the ball downfield. I mean, we've had some good shots on goal first half. Let's just keep it up and get some momentum going in the second half. All right. If you had to pick a player, who's going to lead this comeback? You know what? I got to go with A.J. Antone. Uh, he's doing great on offense, and uh, I just believe in him. He's got the leadership, and he's experienced, and I think he'll get the job done. Now, uh, what about this Peoria team kind of surprised you when they went up one nothing? You know, we knew coming into this game that they're going to be a solid team. We put them last year, and they're really competitive, and uh, we knew what to expect. So we just got to get the get the goal back and just keep uh, keep trying. All right. Well, <laughs> well, that's it for the interview here. I'm going to throw it back over to uh, Jack Westendorf. Thank you, Julian. <laughs> I had no more questions. <laughs> All right, thank you, Julian. Talk about some, yeah. <laughs> uh, great interview with Julian and the Shamnad soccer team's manager. So today is a Friday, the end of a long week for most Shamnad and all students around the world. So uh, Shamnad trying to get something going after this long day and long week before this three-day weekend. Okay, so uh, we're going to go uh, back to Julian Mitchell in just a couple minutes. Uh, he's going to talk about some uh, very interesting stuff happening tonight. Yeah, so... Uh, so uh, if you guys didn't check on my article on uh, CCP Student News, y'all, you guys can uh, check that out. I'll be doing uh, one for uh, today's game and tomorrow's game. Uh, it's going to be very interesting, very action-packed. Um, Tom, Thomas, you should write some articles too. Uh, yeah, no problem. I can make that happen. <laughs> work, uh, work some time into my schedule. But uh, for sure. Yeah. So uh, game tonight, uh, big game. We got a yeah, big game against Smet. Football, football. Of course, yes. Football at Smet. The theme is a whiteout. 
And then if you guys want to come uh, on tomorrow, 11 a.m., the Red Devils take on Marquette from Wisconsin. Um, yeah, uh, Dismet hasn't been looking so bright lately. They had a 48 to nothing loss. I'm not exactly sure who that was. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, it was pretty bad, but uh, hopefully they can show something against the Shamnad. But at the same time, I hope Shamnad kicks them just as much as, as whatever team beat yeah. them by 48. Yeah, so, I mean, Shamnad destroyed Timberland. The, the only the Timberland only scored six points. And... Um, yeah, so Red Devils up to a, a very, you know, strong start, 2-0. Uh, soccer team has a 1-2 a, uh, and two record, looking to go back uh, to a 500 with a win today if they can pull it out, which I'm sure they sure they have some tricks up their sleeve. Oh, they, all, they have all the talent in the world. They just have to put it to good use and try to make something happen in the second half. All right, and we're going to be back in just a couple minutes here. Um, now I'm being told I need to keep on talking. So let's talk about some St. Louis sports. Uh, Ram, Rams, Rams those, those football. Cardinals, uh, no, we're going to talk Rams first, okay? No, I like Ra the Rams, Rams could have just finished their last free preseason here in St. Louis, which I hope to God that does not happen. They finished the preseason with a record of 0-4. The last three seasons like under Jeff Fisher, they were 1-3. We lost 27, I believe 27 to 7 or 24 to 17. It was a great game. I I, I watched probably to the fourth quarter. Um, I watch every Rams game. I also also big Dolphins fan. Tough loss to them. Um, yeah. So uh, to the Cardinals now. Cardinals, yes. So they've been playing very well with uh, I think like 85 to. Yes. 60 or yes. something like that record. Yes, and, and the uh, Pirates did. I think the Pirates lost or either won, so that's helping out. So, 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 so that's, so that's uh, helping the Cardinals out in the standings. Still have the best record in baseball yes, for the best team in baseball behind the Indians in my book. Um, so Blues hockey coming up in October. Um, Blues uh, signed a are signing a training camp contract to. Former, my favorite NHL team, Florida Panthers player Scotty Upshaw. What do you uh, think of uh, them getting rid of Oshie? You know, I think that it was it was kind of time for him to depart. I mean, we needed to shake some things up. Is that? He, Tro he Troy, Troy Brewer Brower is a great um, guy. So we're gonna head it over to Spencer Rott, and he's he's has he has a very interesting and special interview coming for coming up for us in, a, in just a uh, couple seconds. So Spencer, off to you. Well, thank you, Wes. I'm here with the legendary Mr. John Lawrence. Our, you may know him as the moderator of CSPN, also the chair of the Practical Arts Department at Chaminade. Now, Mr. Lawrence, uh, I guess the uh, big question for you is because I know a lot of people would like to know about that. What was the reasoning behind that? Well, the reasoning behind that is to try to get our boys more of a pre preparation for college. So when boys go to college, they're going to run into a learning management system and therefore um, in understand how they operate and how uh, the challenges of them actually works to our students' advantage. Second is to improve our curriculum and try to get uh, a place that houses our curriculum in a web-based environment so that um, we have, um, it's easier to migrate from year to year. Very nice. Now switching gears to CSPN, you've been the moderator for how long? I believe this is my ninth year. Wow. And what, what is your favorite moment of those nine years? Well, there was a putback last year when Will Gladson received this ball and he had a putback uh, right back into the bucket. And it was just this perfect moment. And uh, after the challenges that Will had, uh, I just love that uh, that strength, that story that uh, that came along. Um, so yes, very nice. Thank you very much, Mr. Lawrence. I appreciate it, and we'll throw it back over to Thomas Hawatma. Thank you for that interesting, very interesting interview. This is an Lawrence. amazing interview. And one minute and thirty seconds till the beginning of the second half. Both teams are taking the field, getting prepared. Uh, so Shamana just needs to work on a few things. They did a perfect job on pushing the ball 
uh, probably just get their defense a little bit stronger and stopping some more balls before they get to the goal. Okay, so Jack Westmore from Thomas Hawama here with you uh, for the start of the second half here. Uh, you're going to have 40 momentos on the clock here. One nothing lead for uh, for the uh, Pure Notre Dame Irish. Yeah, it was good. It's good. What's going on? So we got Hasara, Anton, Agater, um, Weber, uh, Nadio, Kleeman, other Kleeman, Signorelli, Steele, Mosby, and and Mitchell. Those are the pets we have out. They will be playing a 4-2-4 four -four in this second half formation. Good hustle here to start off the uh, second half. And Shot there by Peoria was blocked. And Irish pushing it. Definitely making a statement here in the beginning of the second half. About a minute gone here. Yeah, Corner kick for Peoria to start right off the Three second five, half. Two. First time. Uh, all right, here comes the corner. And that's going to go right at the side all right. of the net. That's all right. Looks, yeah. looks like that was uh, Ben Jackson who started to wild him up over it, right by the uh, corner kick. Right by the sideline. And the goal kick will be taken by uh, Tim Steele. There's a Sara. Sara with it. Centers it. Oh. Agater couldn't get a foot on it. Here's Max Kleeman. Good slide tackle there. And they're going to call foul. That's that's a little questionable there. It looks like he got ball, but... It looked like it was all ball, but... But, you know, it's a ref's, ref's call. It's But it's uh, good for Chaminade here. Uh, the Irish coaches are not happy with that call. Not at all. And I think if that call was on Chaminade, the Chaminade coaches would be saying the same thing. Now here's Steele. Mosby, kick, but Mosby yeah. could not get to it. That's going to go off his head. Goal kick for the Irish. <laughs> Three minutes gone. Goal kick for DeRose. I like him. He's a, he's a very strong goaltender. Senior, so this is going to be his last year. And he's really shown how, how good of a goalie he is. Here's Signorelli with the throw-in. Oh, good job there by Kleeman, and now it's going to be Weber. Weber goes over Sara. Sara gets, gets steps on the ball. Yeah, he tripped on the ball, but he gets some control Good back. recovery, yeah. Matteo is going to try to chip it over to Anton. Throw in for Peoria. Good job by Signorelli. Good challenge again by Anton and Sara. Should be shown that ball on Irish feet. Now the, now the clouds are coming over the sun, so I'm going to give a little bit of shade. Yeah, it's a, a little bit of breeze. Uh, there's no sun. Yeah. The weather drops a good 10, 10 degrees. Yeah, that, that's good for us and for the players. For sure. Soccer's more important than the clock. I'm sick right now. All right, you're okay, Mike. I am sick. Watch quick. 
And Clayman with it. Oh. He gets tripped up, but no call is given to him. Tommy, you're not helping. You're open, Tommy. Okay, we'll play. Um, uh, ben Weber gives it over to Mosby. Mosby is going to kick it down over to Agater. Agater gets a foot on him. And here comes Ben Weber. It's a foot race between Anton and Peoria. Oh, there we go, Anton. Sorry. And it was <laughs> Anton's shot goes oh, just over. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Thank you a lot. I was excited. Spilled some Gatorade over here. Don't worry. Hey, you spilled my Gatorade. Yeah, well, you know, you know, I was just, I was very excited how about what was, that point could have happened there. I couldn't even see it because I was worried about the well, see, Gatorade. You got it right next to my elbow. That's a problem. Thank God it didn't go on my phone. <laughs> now that would have been a big beatdown. Here's a kick for Peoria. Oh, stop. stop. Seriously. I'm trying to, I'm trying to film you. Yeah, but that was an, uh, an awesome opportunity yeah. for Anton. Yeah, that was great. They've had a lot of them lately. They just cannot execute. Oh, uh, it looks like Hassara's down there. It looks like he's grasping I think his. He, he uh, must have tore something. I don't, something in his hand. Oh, was a... Back of his calf, hamstring. Yeah. I can't tell which one it is. But it's definitely his leg. You were there. You had him. Stop. Time. Time. I was saying, there was a kid with, Tommy, listen to me, there was a kid with Hey, me. White, White, White! And Coach Mo is going to come down for, uh, to help out his, to Ben, and uh, Thurman's going to come in for him. It's way up there, isn't it? It's way up there. Tommy, Tommy, we're going to run two. Two. We're running two! Oh. All right, and it's going to be a Peoria uh, free kick here. Yeah, that's definitely a tough, a yeah. tough loss for Shamanat. I think he, it, it was just a cramp as yeah. he was saying while he was walking off the field, but he should be fine after some rest, hopefully. Right there, right there, right there, Brady. And that looks like it was going to be a pass offside. Hey, turn around. And it looks like the two teams I'll be playing next, Marquette from Wisconsin and St. Viator. Uh, are, see the buses rolling. Yes, they're behind the uh, Chaminade goal right now. Chaminade will be playing Marquette of Wisconsin uh, tomorrow at 11 in the morning. And uh, where's that again? That'll be here. here. Theme, it is a beach theme. Beach. Oh, uh, that was a little bit of flop, yeah. Yeah, for good, sure. Good job by the ref now making a call there. And that goes off Thurman's foot. Throwing for PND. Yeah, Irish has definitely been pushing the ball a lot more than they were in the first yeah. half. And here's... Little chip shots gonna go and on right top of the net. Yeah, right on top of it. Timmy Steele, the senior, with the kick. And Chamat will regain possession. And Cleman goes down. Uh, I think he's okay. Yeah. So 32 15 remaining in the second half. Peoria Notre Dame leading 2 0 with a goal by Carl Resnick in the first, early, early in the first. Something late in the first half. So Max Clayman just got a little tripped up, but he is fine. And uh, 
I thought, I thought he was kicking. Oh, Agger with, oh, Agger, oh. No, no foul there. Good chance there by Shamanad though, good, but good clear by Peoria. There's a chance for the Irish. And Stevie Nicodem coming down to the sub area. And the ball goes to the street. So there'll be a free kick after the offsides. Was that offsides? Or? Uh, no, just uh, I actually did not see it. So. Yeah, I think it was offsides. So. Oh, good save by De Rose. De Rose's hand. That was another great save. So we got a corner kick for Shamanad. In comes Stevie Nicodem. Out comes Mitch Mosby. And for the Irish is number two, Carl Resnick. And number 19, uh, Max Bonachen. And your man, Adagir, will be taking the Yeah, play. yes. 30 30 left. Big chance here for Shamanad. Gotta get something. Headed nice by headed. Matteo, just oh, wide just left. Off. Yeah. It was a great try, but couldn't get it. But what do you think, West? Uh, Shamanad needs to work on to, to get get something going here. Oh, I mean. I feel like they're, I mean, really, I feel like they're doing really good. I yeah, feel they, like, they definitely are playing well. I mean, I don't know if there's, I mean, there, it's just a good matchup between these two teams. Mm -hmm. They're just so evenly matched. They um, definitely are. Yes. Yeah. Oh, why? 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 OB, throw in for the Irish. Yeah, maybe we should focus less on time. Hit by Kleeman, and that's going to go back over to Peoria. And Joe Pinch Mitchell Pinch picks Pinch up Pinch the Pinch ball. Pinch Good job by the Frosh. Right there. Five, five, two. I see him, see him. Pick up, pick up, pick up. You're all the way up to the next, the next, the next. Here's Signorelli. Yeah. And goes out of bounds. Yeah, it's going to go out of bounds off uh, number 21, Aiden Hill. Yeah, Irish have definitely stepped up their game in the second half. Yeah, they're doing really good. Throw in by Alex Kleeman. Oh, just went right past AJ on Tom. Kleeman regains possession. <laughs> Here's Weber. Weber going down. Had a little bit of a lane there. And now it's, now it's oh. Thurman with the right inside the box. Got a chance. Oh. To the middle. Centers it. Oh. Oh. Kicks and gets uh, yeah. Good job by Signorelli to keep it in. There's AJ Anton. Gets it over to Cleveland shot. Oh, saved oh, by the Rose. Wow. Wow, that was Max Kleeman with a great opportunity there with less, I think about 28 minutes a, left. He's a nice varsity goalie for sure. He's a beast. Remembers me of a, reminds me of another great goalie last year on Shamanan. Mr. Pell. I'm sorry, who? Mr. Who? Mr. Pogue? It was Pogue, Pogue and Steese, yes, yeah. Powell did, uh, Tommy Powell did play last year, but it was uh, Pogue and Steese. Here's Thurman with it. Thurman up throwing right on him. Oh, good job there to try to. So I'm not moving the ball around nicely. Trying to find someone, in, uh, trying to find an open man, but yeah. uh, Irish is definitely playing great defense. Yeah, they are. Uh, here's Thurman. Oh, uh, just couldn't get it past him. Great slide by Tim Steele, and then we'll go out on him, though. 
Throwing for Peoria. Good tap. Uh, nice slide by Max Kleeman. Yeah, that, that was actually the ball in Chamna's possession. It's actually Alex Kleeman. Alex Kleeman. Yes. They do get confusing. <laughs> they are. They only are <laughs> twins. Yeah. Nicodem gets there to Weber. Weber kicks it down, tries to go over to AE double A Anthony Agater. Oh, and our technical director Brendan Robert is informing me that he his middle name starts with an A, so he's actually a triple A. Thank you, thank you, Brendan. Pretty impressive. Thank you. Yeah, so triple A. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Um, and here's a throw in for uh, uh, Pure, yeah, yeah, thank you. And here's Ryan Nadio. He's booking it. Shot, oh, goes high. That's going to go down to the turf. They've had a lot of shots going high, Shamna. Yeah. Chris Brunt, Brutch, uh, comes in for Peoria. Trey Knighton comes up. It's, it's my last name. And the Irish cannot keep possession of it. So Shamna's ball. Another good diving header by uh, Signorelli. He likes those. Yeah, he's been definitely he likes uh, those, yeah. his body for the team. Stay on side, Keith! Who's Spencer? Uh, some jokes going around. Back in the technical aspect. I'll tell you later. Uh, um, and here's yeah, what's going on here? I didn't I didn't really see it. Yeah, there was a foul or an offside. I think what happened was that I, I'm pretty sure that number four touched the ball when he when he got tripped up. Mm -hmm. And so that's why it's okay. Shamna's ball right now. But uh, the coaches were arguing that there was a foul after, after, the, play after the play. <laughs> you gotta get this after play footage. Here's Maddie. Ah, it's gonna be Irish ball. Twenty-three thirty left. Who is it that just picked a fight with I think there was a either steal or something really. Trying to make something happen here. Oh. Oh, that's going off on Thurman. <laughs> I don't know, like Shama, Irish will bring in some subs. And here's the therm, here. uh, here's a throw in by Hunter Hill, Hilltop, Hilltopper, I don't know, Hill, Hillfield, Hillfield. Out of bounds off Alex Kleeman. Yeah, and uh, one of the refs was saying that it was Shaman ball, but the other ref corrected him that it is actually Peoria ball. 
okay, which is correct. Yes, it will. You, you uh, that's Tommy Driscoll with the corner kick for Peoria. Mark Barlow going down to the sub area for Red Devils. I'm sure I need to stop here. That's going to be a sailing wide, way. Yeah, that, that's going to be a lot of bounce. Barlow. Mike Barlow. Mike. I don't know why I was saying like that. Mike Barlow is going to go in for the Red Devils, and out comes Ben Weber. He's cleaning. Gives it over to Barlow. Barlow gives it over to Thurman. Thurman gives it over to Barlow. Barlow cannot make a play there. Oh, and here's a little chance here for Peoria. Good job by the freshman. Good job by the freshman. Yeah, he did a well job, definitely uh, under pressure in that position. And here's AJ Anton. Um, and it's going to go off of Max Kleeman. Here's Matteo. Matteo gives it down to Anton. And I would like to uh, uh, give a big thank you to our whole technical crew, uh, cameraman Cam Reese and uh, uh, Michael yeah, for sure. Gibbler, for yeah. Out here. Uh, we got uh, Julian Mitchell back there, friend of Robert and Spencer Dot. Thank you guys. Already gave you two a shout out. No problem. Uh, <laughs> and opportunity for Irish, but Mitchell gets it. Mitchell throws it over to Anthony Agater. And here's Kleeman. Kleeman over to Barlow. Barlow back over to Max Kleeman. What's up? Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Daniela if you're watching from Mizzou. <laughs> uh, a little throwback to uh, basketball. <laughs> uh, uh, that, that's uh, some uh, that's some uh, Mizzou basketball. That's some uh, when we went to Mizzou. It's uh, Daniela, college student. Mr. Lawrence bases uh, all his uh, lesson plans off of her now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's uh, he, he had to be there, Huama. I'm sorry, he had to be there. That's uh, state final. That's uh, state ba state final basketball for you at Mizzou. Eighteen thirty left. Here's Barlow. Now we have a, this is a good chance here. Yeah, good opportunity here. Gives it over to Agater. Agater. Gives it over to Thurman. Thurman. Too far. Good job there by Thurman oh, to keep no, it in. He saves it. Well, we deflected, so it should be a corner. I should be. Oh, they're not going to call the corner. That was 100% deflected. And Weber Irish. goes in, and Signorelli comes out. I don't agree with that call, but things happen. But that was great hustle by Clayman to uh, save the ball and try yeah. to get something going. Joe Cantlin coming down for Shaman on the sub area. Now it's Weber. Uh, Weber tried to feed it over to Barlow, but couldn't make it. I didn't see that. You see that? I did not see that. I'm staring at the grass right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I kind of zoned out for a second there. Bored a little bit? <laughs> so, 
Got bored, just tired. Yeah, I got you. So, less than 17 minutes left. And Thomas sprinkling his Gatorade all over my leg. Uh, Clayman heads it out. Back! Back! See it! ball. I think they were going to call a foul there or an offside. I couldn't tell. Alright, so free kick. After the foul. They're gonna call an elbow on Shamanad, yeah. Shamanad. Looks like he was signaling for a little bit of an elbow. Yeah, push from behind. What was the call? Here's Thurman. Oh, I'll try to give it over to Matteo. That's all of it. Oh, it's a bad call by the ref there. No, no, Hunter, Hunter, stop. Hunter, stop. Cannon comes in, Thurman comes out. 15.30 left. Yeah, it's Kleeman. Kleeman keeps it in while diving. Come on, Mitch! Come on, Mitch! Gives it to Agder. Agder gives, oh, tries to, is going to feed it down to Weber. Weber has Anton uh, right in the center. Center's it. Oh, and it's Kleeman. Shot. Oh, saved by DeRose. Shot. Oh. Still not, not the ball still lies. Oh, but. <laughs> Oh, he's yeah, he's he's for real. What? Wow, it's three good chances though by Shaman in the span of 15 seconds. Now I see why they've been shutting out almost every team. Yeah. No, no, like the kid, the kid, how it got cleared out of the like the ball box. There's this kid on the ground, and he kicked it. Like he was flat, full out rolling on the ground. And he kicked it. And Heather Bartella. Another shot, my chance. An Irish clear it. We'll go out of bounds so Shamanad has another chance. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a, th a Shamanad throw in. Yeah. Very deep into the. Uh, uh, Irish zone. 14 minutes left. Canlin's throwing. It's a nice one. It's going to be right in center. Weber tried to head it, but couldn't make it. It's going to be headed out by Peoria. Now it's Mike Barlow. Out of bounds. Throwing for Shamanad. Barlow's, I mean, Canlin's throwing. I'm sorry. Uh, goes out of bounds. That's going to be another throwing for Canlin. Throwing for Cantlin. And headed by Sean Lad. Oh, no one was there to pick up the ball. Couldn't Irish couldn't clear. Now it's Cantlin gives it over to Matteo. Oh, Matt, my, Matteo took a trip taking a shot there. So Nick and him tried to keep it in but couldn't clear it. Now it's a three on two. I was just pushing it. Good chance here for Peoria, but goes right into the feet of Steele. But Steele couldn't yeah. clear it. Great work by Tim Steele. It's TJ Ray, and it's going to be offsides for Peoria. That was great work by Tim Steele to uh, block job. the ball when the Irish was trying to cross it. Resnick comes in. Grutch comes out for Peoria. Trey, you're a center mid. Carl's just helping here. 12.40 left. Thurman comes down to the sub zone. Here's Matty. Oh, Matty gives it over to Kalen. Oh, Kalen, Kalen tried to rush. Was trying to rush here. Yeah, a bunch of time left. Uh, Alex Kleeman tried to send it down to Weber. Come on, Trey, get in! 
Um, how do you think we're doing so far? Uh, we're doing well, actually, on defense, but we haven't been pressuring as on offense as much as we, we did in the first half. Thurman's coming in. But we have had a lot of chances on goal. And it looks like that's going to be Alex Kleeman coming out. Uh, and Cam Reese wants to give a shout out to Mr. Stout. Yeah, so shout out to Mr. Stout. Thanks for watching, if you're watching, from Cam Reese. Here's Kaylin. Kaylin kicks it over to Anton. Shaman on ball, so there's a foul there. 11 minutes left. Kaylin with it. Kaylin gives it over to Barlow. Barlow right in mid, right back, right in the middle of the field. Canley gives it back over to Barlow. Gives it over to Max Kleeman. Max falls down. And a long ball. Joe Mitchell kicks it OB. Yeah, Good job there. Move. Yeah, very smart. Because if he did not get to that, that would have been uh, a definite goal. Goal, yeah. No, King, look at me. King, listen, come here. Be smart. Don't just give me this. Be smart. You're moving way too fast. JC had to come up 25 yards. He had to come up 30 yards. Tommy, you guys shut up in the back. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be saved by Mitchell. Find him. Good. Good. Now it's Anton. Anton go over to Weber. And out of bounds on uh, Irish. Less than 10 now. Oh. Give it to And through a little too far up. No, it's too late. I'll have him now. No, I'm not. So, we'll re-throw. <laughs> <laughs> now it's Kleeman. Kleeman. In that case, I already have it. Gets it down over to Anthony Agutter. Agutter going down the far sideline. So looks like it's going to be a corner kick for Shamanad. Good opportunity here. The only person that is back is Mitchell and Nicodem down to his, his uh, little defense. Everyone else is down inside the box. Header. Again, over and wide. Yep, that looks like that one offs off a Peoria player, so it's still going to be Shamana throwing, but now on the other side of the field. No, no, 8.30. Big opportunity, another big chance here for Shaman now with less than 8.30 left. Barlow's up up nice and close uh, with uh, Anthony. Agatha kicks it, headed away by Peoria. Here's oh, Ryan Matty with some good moves there, still has the ball. And they're going to call it a Peoria ball. Oh, that's a bad call. I mean, that was a, that was a very, very, very questionable call there. Uh, starting to get a little chippy, if you, as you, can, if you can say. Seven thirty. But um, definitely Irish has been playing great inside the box. Yeah. And keeping everything out, anything that goes in is going straight out. Here's Barlow. Oh 
Barlow couldn't get it to Weber. Coming out, throw in. It's going to be Joe Cantlin. Down on the far side near the concession stand. 6.30 now. Been two minutes since the Red Devils corner kick. Tyler Hughes going down. Oh, they're going to call an offside there on Chaminade. And Ryan Matteo is saying to the ref that the player just untied his shoe and tried to retie it to stall for some time. Okay. That is that, a, yeah. on strategy. Maybe it was just on uh, loose. Shot saved by Mitchell. Good, Good job by the freshman. That was a really nice shot to the left middle of the goal, and uh, Joe Mitchell was there. Five forty. So a corner kick here. So here's the corner kick for Peoria. That one's shot, and looks like they might have gone off of Joe Mitchell. Yeah, it looks like he just. He, yeah. So another corner, just on the other side. So now five minutes left. Take, take it. ready, Come on, King. How's that? That's very good. Less than five. Peoria still hasn't taken their corner kick yet. That's going to go far out. Good job by Kleeman. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's... Yeah, that's... I don't like that. Tommy, forget about everything. Tommy, forget about everybody. Get back! Headed, good save by the keep, good Back, save by the freshman. Yeah. Canlon's gonna Back. kick it over. Can Clean to keep it in? No, it's gonna be a throw in. Hunter, Hunter, Hunter! You got it, but hey, as soon as you throw, you sprint! Less than four. Ball still has left Chaminade, uh, Chaminade zone in about two minutes. Yeah, Chaminade is playing straight up defense right here, just trying to get it Back. out of the box and keep it out. And Shot, score! <laughs> That's yes, number 21, Aiden Hill with a goal for Peoria. Another header. Three forty-three left until the game is over. Pretty impressive that both yeah. goals scored with both headers. You don't see that a lot. Irish have definitely been playing a very, very good game. Sean not need something quick here. Yeah, it's going to be hard to come back, but they can do it. You know, on our not team. Hey, almost like we have three here. Here's Agater. That's taken away by Carl Resnick. Goes out of bounds, Shaman throw in three minutes left. Now it's Tim Steele, gives it over to yes, Carl. Yes, Carl. C7 for us. Uh, Nicodem. Come on, Trey! Trey, you're back here! Weber gives it over to Thurman. 2.45. Mitchell, 
Anton gives it, Agator gives it over to uh, Thurman. Thurman falls down. Now Agator has it with it. Agator with it. Yeah, this is definitely probably one of the last chances Shamrock has. Out of bounds. Oh, that's out of bounds. It's going to be a Peoria ball. Oh. 2.30. Game has not been going. Yeah. I'm pretty sure playing. Now two minutes. Shamna regains possession. Berber gives it over to Anton. Anton, shot score! Shot AJ shot. Anton with his perfect. second goal of the year. He went through three guys just to get the shot off and he, he executed it with precision. And Tyler Hughes sticks it right onto the center uh, where Shamnon and Shamnon really needs to get something going here with a minute 50 left. They can do it, they can definitely do it. Yeah, great goal there by Anton to get some momentum back. Cut the lead to one, two, one, 150 left. Just gonna have to push just as much yeah. as they just did. Kalen gives it over to Weber. Weber kicks it down to Anton. He's got it. 130 now. Good cross. Good deflect. Oh, yeah, the, they're calling a foul there. Foul there. After the header. Uh, number 20 on Chaminade. Now 115. He destroyed. He literally just wrecked. Uh, number now they, 110. 32 on the Irish. So that was a fair call. Now less than a minute. Can it kicks over to Hughes. Hughes over to Kleeman. Kleeman can't get it out. Shamanov's got time for one more drive and that's it. 45 seconds, Shamanov ball. Stevie Nicodem throws it over to Tim Steele. Steele can't get it out. Goes over to Joe Kalen, 35. Gives it over to Thurman, now 30. Cal Thurman, good move there. Thurman gives it over to Agater. Agater gets pushed down. 20. Free kick after foul. Last chance here. 15 seconds. The last chance. Now 10. And it's off. <sighs> Saved by the Saved. keeper. And uh, that'll wrap it up. That's going to be the game. It was a great finish though by Shamra. They really <laughs> tried their hardest to get back into this. I wish they did. They got one more goal, but. Couldn't do it. So Chaminade falls to Peoria Notre Dame by a score of two to one. And now the record is one and three. One and three. That, Tough really loss. Uh, AJ Anton scores with a minute 50 left to make this game a closer than it was. Uh, closer, closer uh, to uh, to the win. Um, yeah. So um, Chaminade plays. Uh, Marquette University High School um, from Wisconsin. Tomorrow, correct? Uh, yes, tomorrow at 11 a.m. 11 a and uh, the theme is a whiteout. Um, Shaman would look to go two and three. Hopefully that can happen. Um, definitely don't want to go to one and four in the season. It is, and it is, I'm sorry, it's a beach theme. Thank you, Julian Mitchell. Uh, tonight at um, seven at the Smet against the Smet is a whiteout. Uh, hopefully everyone can make it there um, tomorrow 11. Yeah, they just yeah. need to play with the same heart mm -hmm. they did today, I mean, it was even with one of their best off, off Rogers off the yeah, field. Yeah, um, I mean, it was a great game. It Went was. right down to the wire. Anton made it uh, cl even closer. Um, so, he plays very well yes. in the last few minutes. So the final from Chaminade. Chaminade 1, Peoria Notre Dame 2. I'm Jack Westendorf here I'm Thomas for the whole CSPN crew. See you tomorrow.